Hello and welcome back to the craft box. My name is Brent and today we have a challenge. Um, so I've decided that for fun we are going to randomly try and do um, random things in the monster dome because I have one and I don't really use it too much. So today we have a protector of the fang, we have Kaonark the fire spitter, we have lambent fire and a giant spider. Um, these were all chosen randomly on stream. Um, I spun a wheel and then chat got to decide a number between one and how many, ever many, um, creatures that you can collect with monstrology. Um, and, and they chose these ones. Um, so yeah. So I have some rules for today. One of them is, um, no enchants. We also cannot use shadow magic. We can only use rank zero to five spells. So that's why the highest tip we have is skeletal pirate. Um, we're not allowed to use law spells. However, if a minion has law spells like Maldwit does, um, which I only found out after, um, well, I, I've already done this one. I had a different idea for this video, um, but I've changed it, um, and scrapped it completely. Um, but yeah, um, that is fine, but we ourselves, our wizard is not allowed law spells, obviously, which we don't have any in here. Um, we're not allowed any item cards, which is why they're all blacked out. We are not allowed, we're allowed one reshuffle, which we have, um, just in case we need it. Um, sometimes I may not even need, a, may not even add a reshuffle, so it depends on the fight. I thought one just to see. Um, no shields and no treasure cards. Obviously we have some, but I won't be using them. Um, but yeah, let's see how we go. Um, the only thing that we can, um, basically rely on is just our gear and how good our spells are or aren't. Um, so yeah, this could be an interesting challenge. Um, yeah, let's blade first. Let's blade. I think the first thing that we should do is probably get either, um, the Drake or Lambent Fire out first. It's probably the best idea because the other two, um, Protector of the Fang, really easy to get out and so is the Giant Spider. Um, as long as the Giant Spider doesn't cast Death Shield, which I think it might, and if we see that pop up, we might have to get it out ASAP because my PS isn't that good. Um, I have restricted myself to only using my main set of gear. I'm not going to be adding anything extra to that set while I'm doing these. Just to see, you know, just for fun to see how we actually go. But oof, a halifant. I shouldn't do too much, yeah. We do have quite a chunky bit of resist here, which is not too bad. Um, we are going to cast our minion out right now. Um, she does do a lot of damage. We Last time I've actually legitimately used her in a video was for the... Um, the, one of the elemental, not the elemental, the astral magic spell bosses in, um, Azteca. And she was very, very useful. I would highly recommend using her. Um, she has things like Dear Knight, Lord of Night. Um, she can also blade quite a bit as well. And if you're death, um, and want to sacrifice her for health, you can also do that. Um, so yeah, that's also another option. You just have to be careful about blades. I don't think I actually added sacrifice minion this time. Um... Or set health, I think it is. Oof, yeah, that's not good. We're going to have to get out of there, Giant Spider. I've got a ghoul with your name on it, Giant Spider. That is not okay. Oh, don't worry. Meltweed's doing it for me. Actually, it probably won't kill, but I'm not going to help. Actually, you know what? I will help. Here's a curse, just in case. Just in case, because I want that Giant Spider out ASAP if it's going to death shield. No, thank you. No, thank you. Um, so, yeah, basically, if we manage... We're, we're going to be doing this um, every so often. I think it's a fun idea. Um, let me know what you think in the um, comments down below. Um, GG. Giant spider is gone. Always good. Um, <clears throat> let me know what you think of this. Um, what you'd like to see, maybe. Um, but yeah, I'll mainly be rolling it kind of randomly. So basically, we spin a wheel and choose the, wi the world that we come from. And then I let chat decide um, what we... Our number... And that's essentially, I have a list of all of the monstrology creatures in every single world. Um, and essentially, we choose from there, or we find out which ones we are fighting. And these were the um, ones that won, obviously, or maybe not obviously, maybe you don't know. But um, Konark and Lambent are from uh, the place called uh, Avalon. Um, obviously, the brown spider is Mushu, as I said. And, uh, the Keeper of the Fang is from Crocotopia. Um, yeah. Lambent Fire is actually a Skeleton Key boss. So, it's quite cool having his card. Even though I'm going to be removing it swiftly. But, yeah. That was fun. That was fun fighting him for a bit. Um, yeah. 
Look at this Enigma Colossus. Uh oh. Crit. Oh no. Yeah, th these men's crit. These Avalon men's, they crit quite a lot. Quite a lot. Um, not good. <laughs> not good. Um, they also can e freak both of them, which is quite scary. Quite scary because I'm not allowed to use TCs, so obviously I can't cleanse other than hitting. Luckily, e freak isn't as bad as it used to be. Okay, you're hitting that. That's fantastic. We appreciate that. You know what? I'm going to go for a skeletal pirate on the, on the, um, on Lambent Fire here. It should do some decent damage. We have a blade and two, sh two traps. I don't have a feint, which, um, I could pull, but we may not. Since we're not relying on treasure cards, we, we can't just guarantee a feint. Um, we'll try and guarantee a feint. No crit, which is unfortunate. We'll see how much this does. It should do, yeah, about two and a half. That's not too bad. Not too bad. Um, it does have, I think, 12,000-ish health, um, which is quite a hefty amount. This man's only has 10,000, though. Um, and then Keeper of the Fang has literally nothing because Crocotopia. <laughs> because Crocotopia won Ghoul, and she should probably be dead. Um, but we might save it for a bit because she, she provides a bit of challenge, you know. 90 damage every now and then. It adds up. It adds up. I currently have no other way of healing other than Vampire and Ghoul because I forgot to add... Um, Sap health or whatever that spell is actually called where I can sacrifice my minion which is originally why I added the minion because I thought it would be an interesting way to get health I don't have sacrifice either just because I wanted a slight more challenge because I could have just had sacrifice in but nah I decided no not today not today not today minus 20s lovely this minion is very very helpful I would highly recommend um, if you're a death wizard to use this if you need um, she is very utility based um, a lot of her spells are just traps and plagues and shields. Actually, no, not really shields. She can shield. I think she can do the life in the myth one. The dream shield, I believe, is what it's called. Um, she also has a decent amount of health as well. But she can also hit as well and heal herself, which is quite handy. Quite handy. Um, See, so yeah, dream shield. As I was talking about it, she does it. Lovely. Um, Let's do this. Hope we're going to discard her again. We don't need two at the moment. We don't need one up and then one in our hand. I have, I think, one more, so we should be fine with three. We should be fine. We'll just not discard the next one in case she goes, unfortunately. Um, but yes, we will get another trap on Lambent Fire and hopefully find a Skeletal Pirate, I think, is the idea. If we can get a Blade or two, that would be good um, because that should do with a feint at least 5k, I would say. Um... Yeah, we got a blade, which is good. Poison on... Damn it. Damn it. Just gonna waste my feint. This is one thing that I dislike <laughs> about having minions. They do tend to be stupid. They tend to be a bit stupid. But hey, that's fine. We will deal with that. We'll just ghoul. It's also kind of good because it makes me play a bit more quickly. Um, oh, crit. Nice. This should do a decent amount, actually. Yeah, 3,600. 3, nice nice decent amount of health back as well which is fantastic nearly half health as well which is dope dope i didn't actually add poison i don't think i could have i should have in fact added poison but i don't think i did i think i just added vampire i tried to go for as small a deck as possible um just so it was again a bit more of a challenge because it's not meant to be easy um obviously obviously if i roll like all wizard city or all um marleybone and below it's going to be quite easy to do um but then also the rules will come into place where i'll probably have like no reshuffles rank one and two spells only or rank one spells only or zero and one who knows um but yeah it's kind of how we go if you have any suggestions for rules that you'd like to see uh let me know down in the comments below as well if you'd like to see different rule set that i use um she's blading me which is cool i can go for um a couple traps on someone into probably a skeletal pirate is probably the best bet anywhere here um we'll see what Maldewit is doing she's only got two pips so she could have three or she could have four next round she doesn't have a high pip chance it's quite low but it's still something still something um 32 damage nice work keeper of the fang you're doing really well you're doing really well as a keeper or protector protector sorry protector of the fang um, what is this? Also, I find it really odd that the Protector of the Fang is, um, fire, but she resists death. 
Um, she's basically a death boss, except she's fire. It's very strange. Very, very strange. Um, I don't know, 420, ha <laughs> ha, funny, funny number. Um, I don't quite understand why that is. Okay, you're doing that. I might start focusing on this man's just for a bit, because apparently Malduit is obsessed with lamp and fire. Which, you know, I'm not going to complain about. She fizzled anyway. Unlucky. F in the chat for Malduit. The fizzle. Unfortunate. Minus 25. Oof. Oof. As I said, we can't get that off easily. <laughs> we cannot get that off easily. I forgot that she could do that. Jeez. Jeez. Not good. Not good at all. Um, ooh. This is actually handy dandy. Another poison. Repoisoning. I think we're going to let Malduit take out the, um, Lambent Fire, mostly. I'm going to focus on, um, Konark. Or however you pronounce that name. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it. It happens. It happens. One name that is pronounced somewhere starts with a C. Don't know what the last name is, but it doesn't really matter. The Drake Boy. That's what we'll call him. The Dragon Boy. Dragon Boy. Fire Spitter. That's his name. What a man. Um, so I've got this on. We'll put this on. Might as well. Might as well. All we have is a ghoul at the moment. I don't want to discard the ghoul either. Just in case we need it to finish off. Because I don't... That is the lowest spell that I have. Um, I don't have any dark sprites in. So, I kind of don't want to discard either of them. But we'll see. We will see. We may need to. Fizzle. Good. This is not going to be a fizzle. Told you. Cyclops. Wow. That's a pretty big spell. For a Crocotopia mob to have. Jeez. This is about the limit. Luckily we have a minus 70 shield. 21. Wow. <laughs> Unlucky. Unlucky. I apologize there. I apologize. Actually I don't. I don't apologize at all. Oh we get a faint. That's lovely. We're gonna discard one of these. Probably a bad decision. But hey. Hopefully we can find something good. Otherwise we can just ghoul. I don't want to ghoul. But we can. Can ghoul if we wanted to. But I don't want to. We'll see. Pip conserve. Lovely. And you fizzled. Again. Wow. Man. Your accuracy sucks today. Absolute sucks. Please don't die. Crit. Ooh. This is not good. This could be... Dead? No. Not quite. She has a bit more health. That's good. Maldweed is actually coming in quite clutch. Quite clutch. She's doing a decent amount of damage. Um, so I'm not too, too worried about that. Lambent's down to about a third health, which is good. Um, we had him at half by our own doing, and then now third, which is pretty decent. Pretty decent. Um, right, let's go for a... Damn it, of course you would do this. Of course. Of course. The one time that suddenly you don't want to hit Lambent Fire, I have everything ready to go for a hit. Oh well. We're going to see how much a ghoul can do. Wow. <laughs> Man, imagine seeing how much a ghoul could do in a fight like this. Who who would have thought? Only here, guys. Only here. I just couldn't let her use all of those traps with her trash damage. Okay, 1,700. 1, nice. Nice, that was a waste. Absolute waste of all of those traps. But hey, that's fine, I guess. That is fine, I guess. We'll have to move on and deal with it. Unlucky, but hey. 800 damage. You know what? Maybe we should have let her hit with all of those traps. See how much she could actually do. Oh well. It's been done now. It's been done. We still did more damage, which is good. Firezilla. Just as well, he cannot burning rampage. Um, this is, in fact, Firezilla. That crit, and that did quite a bit of damage. Quite a bit of damage. Um, what is this? This is Dark Sprite. That is fine. This will do, like, nothing. Probably about 80 max, I'd say. Yeah, 23. 23. Not even 80. She bad. She really bad. My resist is way too good. Way too good. Oop. Um, Meteor. Okie dokie. What else do we get? Now we're going to get Skeletal Pirate. Okay, I was going to say. I don't know who she wants to hit, though. So I'm just going to chill. See who she seems to be targeting for now. Um, and I'll start trapping up the other guy, possibly. In fact, I could just go for a, um, go for a ghoul on 
the Keeper of the Fang, maybe, or the Protector of the Fang, possibly, just to get her out, because she's kind of annoying with the weaknesses. Kind of annoying, just slightly. Just slightly. The weaknesses are not the greatest. In fact, I might do that. I honestly might do that. Or I could... Mm, eh... Let's, um, yeah, let's do that. We can get another blade. Actually, we can get two blades. And we can just faint so much. I'm gonna, I'm gonna blade again. I'm gonna blade again. That's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna blade. We are gonna blade. Um, then we have two blades. We have a minus 25, but eh, it'll be fine, I guess. It'll be fine. We'll see if we can get a skeletal pirate. As soon as we get a skeletal pirate in hand, we're gonna start trapping Konark again. Because I really want him out because he crits way too much. Lambent Fire doesn't crit as much, apparently. Or at least in this in this one isolated fight, he hasn't crit as much, so therefore he is bigger, he is less threat than Konark. Also, our minion seems to be pretty interested in Konark. Um, in Lambent, sorry. Which is weird, but hey, that's fine. Unless we start trapping him, and then, of course, he will be interested in Konark again. Because that makes sense. Fizzle, I'm lucky. I'm lucky. Um, ooh, ooh, death trap on him. I'm tempted, I'm tempted. I, he's tempting me. He's tempting me to stack traps. Let's do it. There's a nice sweet elemental trap. There's a death trap. Let's see if we can get a skeletal pirate, maybe. That would be cool. I have more in. I just need to pull them, apparently. I just can't do that. Also, Maldweep might be dead from this, possibly. Yeah, okay. Maldweep's dead. That's that's even better. We can just chill now. We can just chill a bit. Um, we'll faint. We'll faint. We'll wait for... We'll wait for a Skeletal Pirate here. I think is the best idea. We'll just trap stack this man's. We will get a... Another Meteor. They just love Meteor. Holy moly, it's the only spell that they know. The only spell, apparently. Jeez. Jeez. 88, not too bad. Man, we have such good resist. I forget how good our resist is against, like, random mobs. Because we just never have to fight anybody that doesn't have a whole bunch of pierce and a whole bunch of extra damage. So... It really just shows how OP resist actually is. The fact that I'm taking, what, like, no damage because these guys have no pierce at all. There's a Skeletal Pirate, which is good. We're gonna curse real quick. Um, and this should hopefully destroy um, Konark here. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Maybe. It won't. It may not, but we can hope. We can hope. I think he has, what, like, Five, seven thousand. You know what? We'll do this as well. We'll do this. We'll see if we can guarantee a crit. We'll see if we can guarantee a crit here. Again, this is four pips. Four pips, so we can use this. Um, it's not Doom either. Not Doom either. This is Death. Yeah, you know, it's weird. There's like a weird wee calculation before they cast a spell if one of these bubbles is up. So you know exactly what one, what sp school they're casting if you have one of these bubbles up and it like slightly pauses and looks at them. It's a bit strange. Bit strange. Bit odd. Um, I think that's it. We've got, what, 70, 20... Yeah, we can do this. We can do this. Right, let's see how much this does. Let's see how much this does. We can always follow up with a ghoul. Um, we do have a skeletal pirate, which I'd love to save for um, Lambent Fire. If we get another vampire, that's definitely got... Ooh, there's a crit. Lovely. Lovely. No block, please. No block, please. Of course. Of course the block. Of course. The one time I asked, no block, you block. How dare you, Konark? How dare you? How dare you? So rude. So rude. I don't block you, but yet you can block me. How is that fair? How is that fair? In what world is that fair? So rude. Jeez. Ugh. Oh well, it's fine. It's fine. We will try again, I guess. <laughs> Um, hmm, because he's still got a quarter of health left-ish. 
Could they, yeah, about a quarter. About a quarter health left. Um, Lambert also has just over a quarter health. Um, what we're going to do is 2,000. Um, we're going to save that faint for Lambin, I think. Actually, we'll see how much, who has the most health. Whoever has the most health, we will faint, I think. Unless we find another skeletal pirate. Unless we find another skeletal pirate. Because I don't think a vampire will be enough. I really just don't. I just don't. We will see. Right, Meteor Strike. Lovely. Should do not too much. Especially since he did not crit. Um, right, let's... Ooh, Poison. We did add that. Okie dokie. We're going to poison this, man. I could have poisoned Protector of the Fang just to get her out, but I'm not too worried at the moment. We crit. Nice. Nice. No block. No block. Lovely. Lovely, Jovely. That's good. That should take care of that for a bit. Um, that'll be about 600, even more than I was. I was going to say like 300, 400 around but 600 nearly 700 is fantastic that's really good damage really really good damage really happy with that one um and we get another should we just do it again um yeah i think a double poison will be cool i think that's a good i think that's a good move i think that's a good move no crit this time which is fine this will do about 300 over time 300 over time which is cool um that should definitely slowly take Lambert out. Um, and then we just need to worry about other boy. Which I think another trap into a skeletal pirate could possibly kill. But I do want to ensure it, so I might put two traps, two more traps on, just to make sure, make doubly sure that we are actually going to kill. 344 four, and 688. Eight. Lovely. Look at that. Fantastic. Fantastic. He is going down like a brick in the sea. Because that is a great explanation of things that happen. Um, we'll do this. We'll do this. This blade. Trap, sorry. This trap. Lovely. And we will then have enough pips for a skeletal pirate. Which I am considering just doing. Especially since that's not a fortify. I don't know if he can fortify. If he can, that would be bad. That would be very, very bad. But I don't think he can. I just don't. I just really don't think he can. Um, three, four, four, and six, eight, eight. And next round, it'll be tight. It'll be tight. But I think next round he might be gone. He might be gone next round. We will have to see. Lag. Lag be gone, Blizz. Thank you. Um, oh, he's not gone. He's not gone. We need to poison again. We have two ghouls. We're going to do this. Hope this kills. If it doesn't, that's fine. Um, if it does, um, that's even better. If we crit, it definitely will, I would say. Because we only need to do 2,000. 3,000-ish, max. Um, and I think two traps should be able to do that. He blocked. Why is he blocking? <laughs> Why? Why, man? Why? 180... 1,888. Yikes. Okay. Ugh, he needs more persuasion. He needs more persuasion. He's still got about... I'd say at least 600 health left. Um, which is still quite a bit. Quite a bit to get through. And this man's is still alive, unfortunately. Unfortunately. I kind of want to see what a... Um... A poison would do again. We could just triple poison Lambert. Kind of keen to do that, honestly. Kind of keen. I know we have some vampires still, which we might need to use soon. How much health does he have? 600 ish? Yeah, 600 ish. I thought so. Ah, so. Um. I don't think we can do 600 just by ourselves with this. They're all at basically the same amount of health now. Let's see how much this does base without any traps. We will see. Um, we could even crit and that would be even better. Um, and that would definitely, hopefully, do enough, I would say. Probably, maybe, most likely, possibly. 
crit. Lovely. I know she won't block. Um, 758. So half of that is uh, 379. Okay, so we need a crit in order to kill them all. Except Lambert, who we should probably not kill with a ghoul. Makes sense. <laughs> Makes sense. We also probably cannot kill Kayanak. Um, because he, he's bad. And crits. He blocks all the time. Because why not? Because why not? Hey, at least we only have two to worry about now. And they're both nearly gone. Nearly, nearly gone. Let's go for a... Ooh. A blade into a ghoul would probably kill um, both of them. We're going to blade um, into a ghoul. To kill... Um, the fire spitter first and then we'll see about lambert fire after um we have another male to eat but we're not going to be using that not going to be using it we're at the bitter end of the fight we don't need that anymore not anymore we could just go straight into a poison next as well which is pretty pretty good pretty good Oof, not quite not quite he's got like mm, less than 100 health left i would say i think it's about 90 ish about 90 to 110 health i believe somewhere around there not much health not much health but some all the same 154 okay slightly more slightly more than i thought um let's go for this into a trap oh we crit lovely that's actually really good that will definitely take him out over the oh, he blocked why would you block no no, this is just a, this is just, um, how many times can things block me, apparently? Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Uh, how much health do you have? Okay, he's definitely gone. Definitely gone. Let's, um, not use either of these. We'll curse into a poison next, and that should definitely kill. And that should be GG next round, hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Or at least we'll have the damage on him for next round. Right, one left. One left. Let Oh, vampire, even better. Finish it off with a bang. Finish it off with a boo, I should say. Amazing. I, think, I remember when I used to spam vampire. Boo. Oh, and we crit. Wow, lovely way to finish it. Lovely way to finish it. GG, that does so much. Holy moly. Vampire is OP. Jeez. Well, GG. There we go. We did 706 gold. That's not too bad. There we go. We did it. But anyway, if you want to um, see more of this, let me know down in the comments below. I don't know, just a fun wee thing that I thought we should do occasionally. Um, yeah. Let me know who your favorite who your favorite of these four these four bosses, creatures, things were. Um, let me know what you thought of them, and I will catch you all in the next video. Remember to craft outside the box.